What's up everybody, I'm Seasons from Warbits.com. In our previous tutorial we talked a little bit about routing the FPC to the mixer. In this tutorial we're going to talk a little bit about the basic aspects of the FPC. We're going to be reviewing some of the parts. And we're going to talk a little bit about why the FPC is such a useful plugin. So, if you already load your FPC you can see that it already comes with a bunch of sounds. You can see that there are crashes. It's a whole drum kit included in this in this patch. So what you want is to add new sounds to the FPC and use them yourself. In order to do that you go here, you go to presets and select empty. That means that the pad will be completely empty which will enable you to add your own sounds. Okay, so the first part we're going to be reviewing today is the pads of the FPC. As you can see here, we have a folder icon. We can click it, and it, this window will show up, which will let you find your sounds in your hard disk drive, and you can load them into your pads of the FPC. The other way of loading sounds in these pads is by simply going to your browser and selecting the sounds that you want to use. Let's say, for example, I'm going to bring this kick. I simply drag it to the pad that I want to use it. As you can see, uh, uh, the waveform is already shown in here. I also can layer sounds in my pads of the FPC, and that's one of the things that makes it such a great plugin, especially if you layer your stuff. I am that kind of guy that layers drums very often, so I really I don't really work with the step sequencer. I work all the time with my FPC for drums. So I can bring for example another kick in that same pad and both the sounds will be layered. That means that they will sound at the same time and that will give us a more interesting sound. Well, as you can see, we have 16 pads in bank A. We have another 16 pads in bank B, which in total is 32 pads in the FPC that we can use. So it's really useful, especially for that people that sample and layer. It's, it works like a charm. So here I have my kick. I already showed you how to add your sounds into the pad. So now we're going to move to these individual channels. If we go to our kick, that is the one that we that we added to the pad, we can see we have the two kicks in here. We have the first sample, the second sample, and you can manipulate both of those sounds individually and in a global way as well. As well. So let's say, for example, this kick Sometimes when you layer, you will notice that the one of the kicks is out of tune or something like that. So this knob in here is really useful for that. You can fine tune your kick. You can also pan your kick or pan any sound that you want. Like for example, when you have two snares and you can pan one slightly to the right, the other slightly to the left, and that will give you that stereo effect in your snare. You also have a volume knob in here where you can diminish the, the volume of the snare. The same happens with the second sample. As you can see, I have a waveform view in here for both kicks. And I also have a ADSR envelope, which is really useful when layering. For example, when you're layering kicks, sometimes the attack of one of the kicks won't happen so fast. There will be a, a slight delay. So this is really useful. In order to en enable this ADSR envelope, you have to click here. And that means it's enabled. So if I play this, you will see you can see here that there is a gradual attack. It doesn't come so fast. So let's listen. 
you can listen to that. You, of course, you can edit this envelope. Let's say I'm going to bring my attack all the way up, a fast attack to keep the give the kick that that snap. And you can see the change. I can also edit the release of the kick. I can edit a lot of things, and that's what's really cool of this of this plugin. You can also go to, let's say, for example, I have slide six in here. I already loaded a Chinese sample. I was chopping just a couple minutes late before, so I can also drag these chops directly from my slide six to the pads of the FPC. So let's say here I have marker one. That's my first chop. I go here and simply drag my sound to a pad in the FPC. So you can also, when you're working with samples, you will probably want the sample to cut itself in some spots because if not, the sample will overlap and it won't sound good, right? So let's say I'm going to my sample. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. When I play it fast, it will overlap. That really doesn't sound good, right? So you will want the sample to cut itself. In order to do that, you click the pad to select it. Then you go here where it says cut. You go, you set it to number one and cut by the same number of the cut, number one. So that will make this sample to be cut by itself. So if I click it several times, you can see that it it runs smoothly. So it's really useful for people who sample, for people who layer. One of the things that I really like of the FPC is that you can route them to separate insert tracks in your mixer. Another thing that I like of the FPC is that it lets you work with all your drums or all your sounds at the same time in your piano roll. So here, for example, I already loaded some MIDI data. You can see here I have my sample, I have a kick, a snare, and I'm working with all of that in my piano roll. So it's really useful. It saves a lot of space in the playlist because with the step sequencer, I would have separate channels for my kick, for my snare. So it saves a lot of space. So it's really, really good plugin. I recommend you to use it, especially if you sample or if you lay your drums. As I showed you in my previous tutorial, you can link each of these sounds in the FPC to separate insert tracks, which I've done already. I made a demonstration composition. It's not really awesome. I'm not trying to to impress anybody, but it's just for for you to learn. Also, you can route each of these different paths to a key into your MIDI controller. We're going to cover that in another tutorial, but it's a really good feature. So I'm going to play this just for you to see what you can do in the FPC. Let me play. Okay, so it's not really awesome. As I said, I don't want to impress anybody. So as you could see, I have my sounds loaded in here, which lets me work with equalizers and everything separately. So it's a really cool plugin. So that was all for today. This is another tutorial by Seasons from Warbits.com. Stay tuned for more tutorials if you want to check the Spanish version of these tutorials and other tutorials go to my YouTube channel I left the link in the description so I hope you learned something see you until the next tutorial